wanted to retell the story of San Pedro Calungsod in a different way. And retelling through dramas, through plays, through comics. So, I explore po na ko ang sculpture. This is the first time I nag sculpture ko, and I just started last year during the pandemic. Brag one month ko na tuon, kunya brag kaluis ginoo, it turned out to be good. No, nag so, from one sculpture to another until I finished like 17 uh, figures. But I'm, I'm planning of adding more. Pero maabot na ko og 30 ka book yun siyang um, figures, and eventually ang mga figures, himuon man nila mga kanang i-mold din ako so we can reproduce them except for some dili gyud kay exclusive kay gipamalit na man eh. so once gipamalit na i cannot do anything na uh, i-replicate or reproduce kay na na may tag iya i'll make another one to respect the owner kay as this is a unique work of art no more siya painting uh, dili pwede ma ma, ma pare-pareha This is the, the work that represents the bond and the relationship of San Pedro Colonso to the priest that he's serving. I appeal to you the higot. The higot is the title of the Cuerda de Ata, the rope that binds. No, kay can siya ang pari that he can be clear that he can be able to get out of the bucket. So, the Batan of San Pedro, the higot is the pieces, the higot is the higot, the higot is the higot, the ang ang pare aron maka maka climb bitaw sa sa hill so ang makita naton nga even uh, batan on siya lay, lay person siya ang pare nangayog tabang niya bitaw na, na among imahin sa taas na agi PC uh, kung gunitan ang rope kung bira-bira he never failed to answer my prayers so when you are a director or parish priest ka you should develop a devotion and try to like study the life of the patron saints sa imahang chapel o sa imahang church and then try to emulate it and then try to like promote the virtues and the life of that saint or ng others maka kuan bitaw maka imitate and at the same time ang pagpromote siyang life daghan ang muduol bitaw maka kuan sa iyahang way of helping whoever comes to him I would like to invite everyone to come to the chapel of San Pedro Calungsod and visit our exhibit entitled Marianas 1672 Revisited People in the Life and Martyrdom of San Pedro Calungsod in Clay. Uh, we're using clay to form the figures, but not just to form the figures, but to retell the story of the people who were involved in the mission in Guam. And at the same time, we begin to realize na tinuod yun yung istoryaha. No, and this is based on the book written by Monsignor L. De Brando Lace on Prospects of a Filipino Teenage. And hopefully, mo adapt din ang tourism. Kay this is, I think, like the first exhibit in clay. No, sa ko ang wala mong kuka, dumog pag nanigod sa Cebu. Nga doon ay ga, nga series bitaw, uh, ka na ang gihimo, niya open to the public, and at the same time, promoting the life of a saint. So many kada ubos ang mumbutangan o storyline aron we can like spread the story through the figures that we provide to people.